Hello everyone myself Dr Parth Goswami I am the consultant pathologist and today I will teach you about a major histocompatibility complex molecule which is also known by its another name that is HLA molecule it is one of the antigen display system of our adaptive immunity all right so this is the topic from the immunity chapter all right so first we will start with a definition what is MHC molecule so the mhc molecules are the series of molecule that is present on the surface of our human cell and that is recognized by other individual as a foreign antigen means suppose this is your cell right so the mhc molecules are present over the surface of that cell all right it is also known by the name hla complex and it is the loci of gene you know very well that protein is produced from the gene expression right so the genes mhc genes are densely clustered over the small segment of chromosome number 6 right it is present over the short arm of chromosome number 6 all right now why it is called as an hla molecule the another name of mhc molecule is hla molecule why it is known by the name hla molecule because it was first discovered on the leukocyte right it was initially detected on the leukocytes by its corresponding antibody and that's why it is known by the name human leukocyte antigen all right now the main important function of the mhc molecule is to present the antigen antigen means peptide fragment of a protein so the main function is to present the antigen to the t lymphocyte suppose this is a antigen right this is a bacteria so this bacteria antigen has to be recognized by the t lymphocyte for the killing right t lymphocyte has to identify this bacterial antigen but the t lymphocyte cannot directly recognize this particular antigen right the mhc molecule will help in recognition of that antigen to the t lymphocyte and that is the main important function of mhc molecule and that's why they are also known by the name antigen presenting system of our adaptive immunity the t lymphocyte is among our adaptive immunity right all right so what is the importance of mhc gene so the most important function is antigen presentation to the t lymphocyte it is the peptide display system of our adaptive immunity the another importance of mhc gene is in the organ or tissue transplantation i have already discussed about the importance of mhc molecule in the transplantation i have already uploaded the video on the organ transplantation before many weeks you can check the playlist and see that video all right now the hla hla molecules are linked to many autoimmune diseases as well so these three are the main importance of mhc molecule among that the most important function is antigen presentation to the t lymphocyte all right now friends uh, you have to remember that mhc molecules are highly polymorphic means there is a extreme degree of variation in the each la of gene the las of the gene is different in every individual which is known by the name genetic diversity and because of genetic diversity the each person's mhc molecule is different from another person and that's why whenever the tissue of one individual is transplanted to another individual then reaction will happen and that is because of different mhc molecule in every individual so that is that is the basis behind the transplant rejection right so the graft tissue will be recognized as a foreign and it will be attacked by our immune system because it is different for the different individual right the mhc molecules could never be exactly similar all right and that is a main barrier in the organ transplantation now according to the structure cellular distribution and the function the mhc molecules can be classified in a three class mhc class 1 2 and 3 So first we will start with MHC class 1 molecule right so the MHC class 1 molecule is made up of alpha chain and the beta 2 microglobulin chain which can be seen in this diagram right this is the MHC class 1 molecule and you can see that here you have the alpha 1 chain alpha 2 and alpha 3 this is the alpha chain right sky blue colored 
alpha chain and this violet color is beta 2 microglobulin right all right now now here you in this diagram you can see that this is the antigen so the mhc molecule will present the antigen to the t lymphocyte by attaching the peptides between the alpha 1 and alpha 2 domain so in the alpha chain the antigen is present antigen binding site is present between the alpha 1 domain and the alpha 2 domain right so the peptide binding site is on the alpha chain so this is the structure of mhc class 1 molecule all right now the mhc class 1 molecule is encoded by three gene hla a b and c which you can see in this diagram here you have the hla a b and c so that is the gene forming the mhc class 1 molecule all right now the mhc class 1 molecule will present the antigen to the cd8 cytotoxic t lymphocyte we know that mhc molecule is doing the function of antigen presentation to the t lymphocyte right but the mhc class 1 molecule will present the antigen to the cytotoxic t lymphocyte not cd4 it will present the antigen to the cd8 type cytotoxic t lymphocyte all right now the cd8 cytotoxic t lymphocyte is having the main role against the infection tumors and the allografts right so this mhc class 1 will have role in the similar function of cd8 cytotoxic t lymphocyte this mhc class 1 molecule is present over all the nucleated cells and the platelet but it is not present over the red blood cell and the trophoblast apart from rbc and trophoblast it is present over the whole nucleated cell the all nucleated cell is having the mhc class 1 molecule now the mhc class 1 molecule is doing the function of antigen presentation to the cd8 lymphocyte so we can say that cd8 t lymphocyte will work only if there is a presence of mhc1 molecule so the cd8 lymphocytes are mhc class 1 restricted all right now we will see the mhc class 2 molecule right mhc class 2 so this mhc class 2 molecule is encoded by hla d gene and again the d gene is divided into three portion as you can see in this diagram dpq dp dq and dr right so it is encoded in the region hla d and there is a three sub portion of hla d that is dp q and r all right and the mhc class 2 molecule will do the function of antigen presentation to the cd4 t lymphocyte so mhc class 2 will present the antigen to the t helper cell not cd8 it will present the antigen to cd4 lymphocyte so we can say that cd4 t lymphocytes are mhc class 2 restricted all right see friends this is a very important sentence in this whole ppt right the mhc class 2 molecule is present only over the professional antigen presenting cell so which are the antigen presenting cells that is the b lymphocytes then monocyte macrophage then langerhans cells and the dendritic cells these four are the professional antigen presenting cell of our body so whenever we have the antigen in our body it will be carried out to the cd4 t lymphocyte right it will be carried out to the cd4 t lymphocyte with the help of mhc class 2 molecule which is present over the antigen presenting cell so let me explain you in some more detail this is the antigen right all right now it has to be recognized by cd4 t lymphocyte so the t lymphocyte is having the t cell receptor over their surface right and over the antigen presenting cell that is a macrophage or dendritic cell or langerhans cell they are having the mhc class 2 molecule right mhc class 2 so so now this antigen will bind to this antigen presenting cell by mhc class 2 and it will carry out that antigen to the cd4 t lymphocyte and the binding will be carried out by t cell receptor so we can say that antigen 
is carried to the CD4 T lymphocyte with the help of antigen presenting cell and over the antigen presenting cell we have the MHC class 2 molecule so ultimately MHC 2 molecule is responsible for antigen presentation to the T lymphocyte all right and mainly class 2 molecules are present over the antigen molecule present the antigen that is derived from the extracellular microbes and the protein following their internalization into the endosome or lysosome all right so this is the important function of mhc class 2 molecule hope you can understand that function very well we will discuss that function in the detail while i will teach you t lymphocyte all right so here you can see that mhc class 2 molecule is having the two chain alpha chain and this one is beta chain violet color right so here the antigen binding cleft antigen binding site is between the alpha and beta chain while that was not in mhc class 1 in the class 1 the binding site is between alpha 1 and alpha 2 that is present over alpha chain but here you have the antigen binding site between alpha and beta chain all right now mhc class 3 molecule this particular molecule encode for complement c2 c4 propylene factor b tumor necrosis factor alpha heat shock protein cytokines and the lymphotoxin all right now these are the list of tests that can be done for hla detection for the mhc class 1 lymphocytotoxicity test can be done for the mhc class 2 mixed lymphocyte culture or the reaction can be done prime lymphocyte typing dna analysis and using the allo antisera are another methods for hla detection so these are the some of the methods of HLA detection. All right. So what is the significance of HLA antigen, friends? So now you can understand that HLA antigen is having the main role in the adaptive immunity in the form of antigen presentation to the T lymphocyte. Another importance is in the organ transplantation. As the HLA molecules are different in every individual, the transplanted tissue from one individual to the another individual can be rejected. Third important function is in the transfusion reaction, right? Suppose the blood group, suppose the blood of different blood group is given between two individual. The two individuals blood group is different and you have given, you have transfused the blood. Then reaction can happen because of different HLA antigens. So it's having the role in transfusion medicine and the HLA antigens are associated with many diseases. For example, this is the example of HLA molecules and the associated disease. The HLA B27 is associated with ankylosing spondylitis, post gonococcal arthritis and the anterior uveitis, right? HLA B51 is associated with Bassett syndrome. This is the example of MHC class 1 molecule and the associated disease. You know very well that class 1 molecule is having the HLA a b and c right so this is the b hla b27 so obviously it's a class 1 molecule right so these are the disease associated another example is with hla a you can have hereditary hemochromatosis right with hla a, hereditary hemochromatosis is associated with hla bw47 21 hydroxylase deficiency is associated disease all right now we will see the example of mhc class 2 molecule and the associated disease over the class 2 molecule the example of class 2 molecule the encoded genes are the hla d right d p q and r so this is the examples with the hla d dr3 we have the chronic active hepatitis and the primary jogreen syndrome with hla d4 dr4 the associated disease is rheumatoid arthritis with the hla dr103 the associated disease is ulcerative colitis this can be asked in the mcq so just remember that with the hla dr3 type 1 diabetes can be associated with the hla dr8 primary biliary cirrhosis can be associated and with hla dr3 you can have graves disease or the myasthenia gravis which is an example of type 5 hypersensitivity reactions right so hla dr3 is associated with these two important diseases which is an important mcq all right now we have discussed all the mhc molecule that is one two and three among that the most 
the most polymorphic genes is a HLA-D. MHC class 2 molecule is having the more number of polymorphic gene. So while doing the organ transplantation, HLA-D matching should be done first and particularly HLA-DR matching has to be done first. Then HLA-B and HLA-A matching is needed. So main the HLA matching is needed for MHC class 2 molecules while doing the organ transplantation, right? We know very well that HLA molecules are different in every individual. So while doing the organ transplantation, we need to do the HLA matching as much as can be possible, right? So if you match the HLA molecules between two individuals, then there will be chance that rejection will be less, right? So this is all about the MHC molecules. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any question, then you can ask in the comment section. I will surely answer. So this is all about MHC molecule and see you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.